Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP2. We will be together this weekend. You know what I'm saying? We got some things to talk about, battles to cover, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I really got to say salute to every single one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all continue to watch this content. Y'all continue to subscribe. Y'all continue to like and everything with these videos and help push us to the algorithm. Speaking of the algorithm, y'all been having a lot of interesting conversations the past couple of days, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know all of the stuff that's going on out there. Everybody with this easy to black captain, Pat Pooch, Remy, what happened with this, what happened with that? And I'll talk about that in one second. But the funny thing is, it's like the third time I've said something about this. I said something about it on Sunday. I made a video on Monday. Uh, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, and I, I'm talking about it again today, and I know everybody's like, you know, everybody wants the, the deep details and woop de woop de woop, but I stick to what I'm at, you know what I'm saying? There was a lot of shit that's going on in battle rap, and when I thought about it, it's a lot of stuff that I never spoke about, whether it be cases, whether it be uh, other altercations, whether it be, you know what I'm saying? It's just certain shit that I just never touched on or briefly did or whatever the case may be. Now, easy to black captain, he still ain't spoke. He still ain't went live, and at this point, I really don't care. I'm be honest with you, I really don't care because whatever happened then to now, it's like almost a five or six day difference. I don't give a fuck. Niggas give in my hood, niggas be scrapping every day. I don't know what going on in y'all hood. Niggas in my hood, they be scrapping every day. You don't get them niggas the cold shoulder, nigga. Uh -huh. Do the Mayweather on them. Yes. <laughs> the Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? It happens every day, so I'm not even the one that's gonna keep pursuing it. Yo, you need to do this, yo, you need to do that, yo, you need to speak. Listen, the one thing about battle rap, and battle rap in general, in this form of entertainment, you have to be seen. Like, you gotta be seen. You're not gonna make no money on YouTube if you ain't on it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna make no money in battle rap if you're not rapping. So, I could wait. Well, don't come out in the wash, come out in the rinse. Whenever he pop back out, he gonna have to speak about everything that people are saying, all the rumors and all of this shit. When I was here and I was there and I was... I know that's what y'all be wanting, but at the end of the day, I've already explained what I got going on, and those two things don't mix. So let it happen. Let it happen. I see easy all, all the tweets and yo, this and that and that. The tweets ain't gonna work. You know why the tweets ain't gonna work? Because niggas wanna see you speak. Niggas wanna see that work. They wanna see that. They wanna hear that. They wanna hear how you coming out of that. And the thing is about battle rap, like, yo, know, you, everybody, is gonna, you're gonna get a shot some way. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna respond? How are you gonna move? What are you gonna say after? is what's going to be the most prevalent thing. It's going to be the most telling. People going to grip every word. It's a lesson in every ball. People going to want to know that. That's what they going to want to know. I got patience, you know what I'm saying? My brother doing 22 years. He got a year and a half left. I, I got patience. He, got, he did it because he didn't tell him nobody. So I could wait. I'm waiting to see my fam for all these years. I mean, we visit, speak on the phone, and send letters and shit. My brother be out next year. I don't, so I got patience. I could wait. If you don't want to speak, if they don't want to speak, so next week, guess what? When they do, I'm gonna be right there. Popcorn. I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna speak because this is my platform and I deliver you the news, which is his ghetto point of view. That's just me. But um, I've been having a couple conversations. I told you guys not too long ago, me and Big K, uh, we was at a, you know, we did the news together. Me and Big K squashed our differences and things like that. I even spoke to P. I spoke to P just yesterday. It was a phone call that was facilitated. By no mercy, that's my guy. I don't care. Every I don't care anymore. It's not I will say what I need to say. And you know, he addressed his grievances with me and the shit that I've been saying about him and things like that. And I told him straight up, y'all niggas didn't give a fuck about me when, you, when, when, when the gun was in your hand. So it was what it was. It, it got a little heated. It did. It did. He was he ain't back down, neither did I. But at the end of the day, it's battle rap. I respect the perspective that he comes from. I'm not going to be going in on him and burning him down and all that shit no more. He explained his stance. I explained my stance. And we good. We actually spoke about a lot of other shit, too, which is the reason why I'm even getting to this. So, Pete, if you're good, I'm good. You don't have to come looking for me. I don't have to go through Richmond. You ain't got to go for me. You know what I'm saying? It's a person that I've met, that I know, whose house I've been to, whose kids I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had, we was on the same team at one point. I left. They try to give you. They try to tell you that I didn't, but it's the truth. We agreed yesterday that I left. Life went on and shit went up, shit went down, and we good. I don't got no grievances. 
Me and that nigga ain't got no beef. He ain't no battle rapper. I ain't no battle rapper. What the fuck is the beef for? But I'm like, at a time, you had your fun with me. I had your fun with you. Pause. We done with it. I hope all is well. You know what I'm saying? And et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But as a grown man with everything that's going on, you know, it's positivity. Like, I just told you Big K. I think Big K was bigger. You know what I'm saying? For me. I wish ARP would have got that moment on camera when he unblocked me and we dashed up and we spoke about our issues. I wish we'd have got that on camera, but he didn't. That would have been 100,000 views. Shout out to them. Shout out to BK. Shout out to ARP. Uh, but back to P, right? So uh, we spoke about a lot of things yesterday. I ain't even going to hold you. We did. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying we friends, buddies, partners, none of that shit. But it was a facilitated conversation to try to end the shit that was going on. And um, he, they, easy came up. They still believe you under contract. I'm sorry. They still believe you under contract. He got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. Y'all could take that for what it's worth. They look at everything that he's doing, the battles, the moves, and shit like that, as running up the tab. Keep on going, keep on doing it. Because I've been hearing that he got Geechee next. Hey, it's out the bag. I done heard it a couple places. And I heard they ain't stopping that. The side that he's on will not stop that. Go let it happen. Let it happen. I promise you, if you see a rollout for Geechee versus Easy, and you don't see no cease and desist, or you don't see these niggas trying to stop it, they want it to happen. Look, go. Please, please, please. Geechee, go handle that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a fragile shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop, whoop, yeah. He got the shit coming on. Pop. Go, 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 go handle that. That's how they feel. That's how they feel. I'm going to take it for what it's worth. You can put my word in the dirt. That's just how that go. I respected his stance. And I really, really did. I was like, yo, we, we both had a great conversation. Shout out to No Mercy for facilitating it. Because most of the time when they call me trying to, uh, when I get to where I'm going, after I was down, 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 down here, down 03, and I get it to 4-3, you know what I'm saying? I don't need niggas help no more. So when people be trying, it's, a, it's not, it's a lot of people that be trying to, you know, I changed my number, niggas. A lot of niggas don't got my number. They be reaching behind the scenes trying to get my number. Get, did, did. And I be telling niggas who text me, yo, so and so said they want to talk to you. No, fuck that nigga from now till forever. I don't want to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? But a person like P, you know what I'm saying? We had a relationship. We was on the same team. And regardless of whether he, where he's doing or whatever he's got going on, whatever I got going on, it played a part in some way, you know what I'm saying? If I would have never met him or knew him, even for the short time we worked together, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. And that's one of the highest viewed, highest subscribed channels ever, you know what I'm saying? And nobody could take that away from me. And uh, I, I appreciate it. So shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? That's just, it is what it is. Life goes on. Let's keep it moving. Um, Danny Myers. Spoke to Danny Myers. Well, I, we, we te I texted him or whatever the case may be because his battle came out. And I want to talk to y'all about Philly real quick, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Philly. You know, I heard all of the rumblings and the talk. Yo, with the tweet and the text and the this and the that and the, the, the person was sending the text and this hustle and this and that. Bro, this ain't rapping. This is street hop. I don't have the, the. I, you know what I was thinking, right? You know, because it's just be me, you know what I'm saying? I don't have like a panel of niggas with me. I don't have fucking... SP is with me, you know what I'm saying? That's my, my brother, he work, he got a job like I do, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to see him, he'll be over this weekend, and then we got a bunch of other stuff going on, so we don't get to see each other every day, you know what I'm saying? We really don't. I leave my crib about two in the afternoon, I don't get back to like one in the morning. So I don't get to, you know, I can meet up at seven with five, with ten niggas and fifteen niggas, and everybody can take a turn. So that's, that's not, that's not what I do. I'm doing this shit solo dolo, I'm sitting here in front of this camera. Bam, 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 topic, topic, topic. So everybody not, might not like the product that I cut up. I get it. Everybody might not like it. But at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. This is my block. This is my work, and I sell it how I want. You understand what hustling is. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're having a problem with a nigga who's from the trenches. Because he know the hustle. He's a hustler. He's know, I know when I'm being hustled. A hustler know when he's being hustled. It just is what it is. You know? It could be one, it could be two, it could be three. Ain't nobody do shit to me. I know it. I might not be everybody's cup of tea, but everybody can't fuck with me, and that's cool. I know that. I'm not oblivious to the fact that everybody don't rock with what I got going on, but there's people that don't rock with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So um, I spoke to Danny, and I said I owe him a blog because his battle on Battle Academy versus Top Floor Loot is amazing. I, my crib got a grow house. I'm a herb collector. Yeah. Yeah. Eagle guarding the bow house. Then my bird protector. Yeah. Uh -huh. My Glock got a switch with a light on it like a surge protector. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, hey, look. Hey, look. You better hey, you better hey, look. You better swing and slide on niggas. 4 5 gonna hit you. Shots up that thing, bone. I'm so off the sandbox with it. I still got ringworms. Oh. Yo, 
But you gotta watch it. Like watch his performance. And I said it. Yo, I, I'm in Philly every day. I work it. I be seeing niggas in Philly every day. And when Danny did that trenches shit and backed out of the card, a lot of people in the city was not happy. You know what I'm saying? I know it was a free event and the whole hood was out. It was hundreds of people out there and not a single incident happened. Wasn't no violence. Wasn't no cops called. Wasn't no shots fired. These are the things in battle rap that should be getting some attention. But it's not. It ain't going to get the attention because we want to talk about the messy shit. We want to talk about the... And trust me, that does what it do. Everybody, you do views. I talked about it and do more views than damn near everybody. So when I don't talk about it, these niggas should be happy when I don't talk about it. Because you could do the views. I could talk about the shit the day after you do. Or two days after. Whoever it be, most niggas. And they're going to watch what I got to say. Why? Because that's just how it goes around here. I'm sorry, this is my block. Um, so, I talked to Danny, and oh yeah, Marcus Smart got traded, I'm gonna talk about that at the end, you know what I'm saying, sports heads, meet me at the end of the video, meet me at the end of the video, I gotta talk about that shit, um, so I had a conversation with Danny Myers, you know what I'm saying, I feel good today too, I've been in the gym and shopping, my summer's coming, you know what I'm saying, my wind is right, I've been really feeling good, and I appreciate all the people that, that rock with me and can tell, tell me to keep going, so, Danny Myers battled on Battle Academy, and I was like, Nick, you got to go to Philly? <laughs> You got to go to Philly. They not, they not nice. They not nice. They feel like you washed. They feel like you a bag of laundry detergent. Like you some Tide. Like you, 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 you know. I know you ain't getting it out there. But he went out there and then he went really, really. He went crazy. I got some bars that I want to say from both sides. Uh, so it was Danny Myers versus Top Floor Loot. Top Floor Loot is from Philadelphia. Gets a lot of love out there. Was known on the music scene. Known in the streets. And he's one of them ones, like like coming up, you know what I'm saying? Like he's definitely on the rise. He's only been doing it for a couple years now, but his name is starting to ring a lot of bells in them circles, you know what I'm saying? The Battle Academy. Battle Academy, shout out to Stiz. I talked to Stiz yesterday too. That's why I ain't been blogging, because I've been talking to these niggas on the phone. This nigga, bling, 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 yo body, yo body, yo body, yo body, yo body. Nigga, I've been talking so much to people in Battle Rap, I didn't even know what was going on with the submarine and all. I ain't know nothing about that shit. I found out about that shit today. I'm like, I'll be a day behind, bro. So. <clears throat> I talked to Stiz yesterday. That's my brother. We talked about a lot of things, and uh, you know, we talked about the the whole everything going on in bed. Whatever you think, we talked about. So, uh, so Danny, uh, he comes out in his battle versus Top Floor Luke, and I felt like he was behind the eight ball because I'm like, nigga, you want to Philly? You just backed out on Philly. You got to be in the streets. You got to be in the trenches. And um, he did really phenomenal, man. Like, like really good. So I'm gonna tell you. Uh, couple bars from both parties because I would like for y'all to actually go watch that battle. Go give Battle Academy. It's about a 20 minute battle. You niggas got 50 minutes to be in messy shit, people's family lives, and you, got, you niggas got all that time. Go watch a Battle Academy battle. Tell them I sent you. Buy the sent go, go tell them I sent you. Um, he says, uh, Top Floor Luke comes out of his first round. My Glock got a switch with a light. It's a surge protector. I thought that was fucking crazy because if you own a house, you got a surge protector. Yo, I thought it was wild. He said, I will take the bar guide on a car ride through the north side, hog tide, and drag you from Gerard to Parkside? And I will oh, take the shit. bar guide. Hey, come on, on Lou. Come on. The, come on. I will take what? the bar guide on a car ride through uh -huh. north side, what? hog tide, and then drag you from Wait. Broad and Gerard to Parkside. What? The figure, the figure, bro. You know how fun it is? And the flows that he's. This is a nigga that's brand new. He ain't been on URL. He ain't been on no big leagues. He's still pretty new. He said, I'll take the bar guard on the car ride through the north side, hog tied, then drag you from Broad and Gerard to Park Side. Shout out to fucking Philadelphia. Let's keep it going. He said, I'm the flyest nigga in battle rap. That's word to OG me. I will double and triple check you. That's word to my OCD. First of all, I am one of the flyest niggas. I'm shouting out to Lou. I felt some way about that nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, who is this nigga talking to? That's me, nigga. Now I'm fucking with you. But my shorts is kind of crazy today, too. So it's your Japan joints. But anyway, let's keep it moving. He said, no respect at all. Even if you had a yes man, he'll tell you no. Nah. Like, you, yo, it's a one-round joint. Have I, I'm not going to sell you. There's no cut on this product. I'm not going to sell you no bad work. Go watch these niggas. So round was, it was like almost 10, 11 minutes. He had a nice round. So after he goes, then it's Danny Myers turn, and I'm like, oh, God, what's the bar guy going to do? What is the bar guy going to do? What? A plus. He comes out and delivers a A plus round. Oh, no, bitch, I swear, if I get jumped from top floor, it's going to be suicide. He's talking crazy. Rugas fly, hit his spine. When it's still fair, he vegetable. 
We saw him pose on top floor like he wheelchair accessible. <laughs> 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 I like what happened. Yo, if Danny, if this is the when you still rapping like that? Huh? 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 Wait, wait, what it? Huh? Who got more slogans? When you still rapping? Nigga, that's my shit. I got slow. I'm a fucking blog. I got slogans, nigga. Uh Danny comes out wild. So Top Floor Lou had a bar saying, this ain't the cookout, this your repass. I was thought it was fire. This nigga Danny flips and it says, I'm the only nigga that's alive at his own repast. This is the resurrection. Jesus, Lord. What is wrong with the, his rebuttal? He says, uh, bang the sweeper at the top floor. That's how you shut up the noise. You know what I'm saying? Because top floor, bang the sweeper. Top floor, loot is his name. He's with the top floor gang. You know what I'm saying? Top floor crew in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Should salute to all of them niggas too. Um, uh, he says, bang the sweeper at the top floor to shut the noise up. He says, I got to get rid of you. He said, I never seen a lot that had a top floor. Then he had another bar. He kept going. He said, uh, you go to the hospital, the coroner, pull it out. It's going to be socks in the top drawer. Top floor, my bad. Then he says, I'm out the sandbox with it. I still got ringworms. Saying, hey, I don't be in the trenches. I'm out the sandbox with it. I still got ringworms. He said, I put the scope to top floor Mars. It's an observatory. Like, you know what I'm saying? Top floor observatory. I thought that was fire. Then he said, uh, he said, <laughs> he said, bitch. I swear, if I get jumped from top floor, it's going to be suicide. What? If I get jumped, because top floor crew, if I get jumped from top floor, it's going to be suicide? Danny's wilder now. When has he started rapping like this? Uh, he said, we slide with poles on top floor like he's wheelchair accessible. Slide with poles. Oh, my fucking. What? Uh, then he was saying every L, because he was saying that people took a Danny saying he took a loss. He said every L, every L. Got a different angle, got different sides like an Allen key. Every L got different sides like an Allen key. I thought that that shit was fire. Uh, he said, he said, I'm like, he said, he's talking about him because the, the event was called Cookout. So Danny says, I'm like Tupac in poetic justice at the cookout, pretending not like I know you, family. Cause it be, I'm pretending like I know you, fam. This nigga Danny's wild. I'm just gonna be honest with you. He says, uh, I keep that bitch in between the middle seat, like I keep that pretty bitch or cute bitch in the, between the middle of the seat, like a flight attendant. You know, flight attendants be bad. They be sitting in the middle seat. I like that joint too. And he said they said them TF niggas was gonna kill you. I said, what the fuck is that? Then he went to Philly under intense pressure because it was either deliver <coughs> or you was gonna get cooked out here. So I feel like uh, not about to fly. We recap this, but. Uh, I feel like Danny got that joint, you know what I'm saying, even though his round was shorter than loose, but I just want to say shout out to the city of Philadelphia. The battle rap scene, how it's growing, how things are going, you know what I'm saying. It's a, positive, it's a lot of positivity on the city of Philadelphia, you know what I'm saying. And in everything that's going on, it's good to see uh, my man Stiz throwing events, holding events, and keeping shit going out there. He's got Geechee Gotti versus News coming up next. I saw the battle. That joint is fire too. Me in a six fold with like six foes and a nine like them Nick foes. We ain't even going trip though. I wouldn't waste a bullet. I perform when I shoot the stock and raisin. Amazing. I tell him put it all on his crypto. The upside. Listen. Listen. Talk to the Nigga, think we bluffing. I'll put your face on the curb and make you bite the streets. A catch you getting one of them cheese steaks that you like to eat. And get your ass whooped in front of Max is like you Mikey T. Hey, oh, hey, no. hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Shout out to Stiz, you know what I'm saying, for uh, putting that joint together. And I can't wait to uh, see what the next moves is going to be and what the next things is going to be. And uh, speaking of Philadelphia, it's heavy Philly here today. If you don't like Philly, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. But uh, you might not like my song, but I guarantee you I ain't got it wrong. Uh, Easy to block captain, you know what I'm saying? These text messages or whatever the case may be, alleged, Photoshop, not Photoshop, screenshot, this, like that. I don't give a fuck because I don't look that far into it. But anyway, uh, I guess I was trying to turn him against Reed. And Reed made a, a public announcement, you know what I'm saying? He was talking on Twitter yesterday. And Reed don't really tweet that much, so when he does, you know what I'm saying, it gets a lot of attention. He said, uh, PSA, niggas can't turn me against easy to block. This is Philly, and we was here before all this battle rap sh was even on the main stage. We ain't letting no itches or niggas f up this little thing of ours. I stand behind bro 100%, keep playing, and we gonna make it a no-fly zone. Uh, 
I don't think he was talking about no fly zone from like the beef perspective, like yo, if y'all come here, it's gonna be blah 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 blah. He was probably talking about from a rap perspective. A lot of people had their opinions and thoughts about it. Uh, there was a lot of retweets on it, and like I said, uh, you know, that's just what it is. You know, Reed Reed was outside, and when when a lot of the battle rapping wasn't cool, I said with well, Reed, I was like, uh, Reed had a. Uh, had been around so long that when people in Philly, when they was growing up and going to school, a lot of cats like that, I talked to SP about this too, that Reed was like, they're, 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 they're star, they're fabulous, they're Jada kids. Like that was what was there, you know what I'm saying? They watch Reed DVDs every day. They say you could be having a conversation about Jay-Z and somehow in that conversation, it's gonna lead back to Reed. That's just how much Philly loves Reed and how much Philly accepts Reed. Um, and like I said, I see, I see the bars, I seen some of them, I hear people saying this, I hear people saying, oh, this person don't want to talk about this, this person want to talk, I hear that shit, listen, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I hear how y'all get it on, but they still watching this song, like, why, I, I can't understand that, if you, I always tell people, you know what I'm saying, if you do it better, then do it better, like, do it better, do it bigger, do more, inspire me to, 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 to get on my shit, you know what I'm saying, I would love to see, Nigga recapping battles and shit. They're like, yo, his shit's better than y'all. I would love to see that. Cause then it'll make me and SP, you know, do what we gotta do and things like that. But I'm never gonna be the one that's gonna say what another nigga should do or what another nigga should talk about. I'm not gonna do that. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I'm here for this. I'm here for what I do on this side and for the people that watch this contact. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. And I, I, I got the people that support me and watch what I do. You know what I'm saying? And they really, they really, really rock with it. You see a nigga hating on me in these comments, say, shut the fuck up. Mind your business. Say, mind your business, nigga. You see a nigga talking to you, mind your business, nigga. How about that? Mind you some business or get your business to mind. How about that? Because everybody can tell you what you should do that ain't never done half the shit that you do. That's the reason why I don't be letting these little niggas get in my head and tell me, man, fuck all that. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. They gonna get a chance to speak on their own shit, whether it be easy, whether it be Remy, whether it be Pat. I ain't even asked. I have not asked a single person. Yo, what, 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 what? I never asked. You know why? Because I don't give a fuck. I got my own shit going on. And, you know what I'm saying? I got my own fan base to appease to that apply and watch what we do. So, uh, shout out to everybody that I mentioned in this video, whether it be uh, No Mercy or P, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing, nigga. Ain't nothing, nigga. Ain't motherfucking nothing, nigga. Let it go. Shit. Godly. Niggas can shoot at me for five years. I shoot at the niggas for two days. And niggas want, oh, blah, blah, blah. Man, I don't care. I don't need nobody. I tell them that all the time. It's not just you. Like, we good. I don't gotta, gotta tell these niggas, oh, everybody in battle rap. I don't have nobody. I don't have a lot of these people's numbers. I don't give out my number. I don't want to talk. I don't want to be friends. I just want to do what I do on my channel. That's it. You know what I'm saying? This is what I want. I just wanted my own channel, and I got it. We all good. Life is good. Everybody's blessed. You know what I'm saying? Y'all continue to do well, and that's what we're going to do. Mark is smart, bro. The Celtics parted with him? That's kind of crazy. Now, I do like Marcus Smart to Memphis because Memphis has a huge problem. They got a, a, a fucking max level NBA all-star that's got more guns than playoff wins. He got like nine playoff wins. This nigga got 100 guns and 100 clips. John Morant's from New York. He ain't what's up. John Morant's from fucking New York. He got 100 guns and 100 clips. So they need to bring a veteran presence into that locker room that's going to be able to demand respect, that's earned respect, that's, that's done it at some of the biggest levels. This man's been in the finals, you know what I'm saying, as a starting point guard. Now, I know Marcus Smart is not much of a point guard. Like, he's not he's not going to do what a Steph Curry would do, what a Chris Paul is going to do, what a Dame Lillard is going to do, what any of the elite point guards, not even a De'Aaron Fox, he can't take over a game. He could hit open shots. He's gritty on defense. He plays defense better than everybody I mentioned. And he's going to give 100% every day. And the thing that Marcus Smart do, Marcus Smart don't get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? He's not a cancer in the locker room. He, he don't get in the fights. He don't, like, he's going to be hard-nosed. He's going to play. He's going to give it his all. But he's somebody that you know is going to bring it every day. And he's going to hold John Morant accountable. I don't think that we see these issues with John Morant and all this shit now that they got Marcus Smart. Dylan Brooks, I don't know what the fuck he had going on. He wasn't no vet. He, he was young, too. 25, 24, 25, 26. He, he got his own shit going on. So... You need somebody in there that's going to hold people accountable. That's going to be like, yo, this is how we operate. Marcus Smart comes from a winning culture. The Boston Celtics won when he was there. He went to game seven with LeBron. Uh, not him, but obviously Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And I didn't feel like that three-guard that three guard mix worked well because it would be Tatum with the ball, isolation all the time. Jalen Brown. 
They didn't have nobody that could intertwine them and work like work the plays the way that they needed to be worked. So you send Marcus Smart to a new situation where he goes to Memphis and he doesn't have to be a point guard full time. He's gonna have to be it for the first 25 games because this dumbass nigga got himself suspended. But after that, you know, the ball goes back into his hands and Marcus Smart can play off the ball, he can play defense, he can hit open shots, he can still hit little floaters and shit. It was a really good look for Memphis. Uh, the Celtics get back Chris Dapps, Porzingis, and two first-rounders. The two first-rounders, it's a roll of the dice because I'm sure they won't be like lottery picks, but they could turn into something good. I've seen Jimmy Butler's drafted out of the lottery, and I've seen Aaron Holiday's. I drafted, I show you, <laughs> yeah, it's two spectrums. You can get a Jimmy Butler, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Anthony Simons, or you can get an Aaron Holiday. I'm sorry, Aaron Holiday, I ain't dissing you. I'm sorry, I ain't doing whatever. I don't know how many fucking people watch that. I don't want to be on the phone with this nigga today. Like, I just did. He want to he fire me too and shit. I don't got no problems with these niggas. So, uh, yeah, I, I like the move. Uh, Chris Dash Porzingis to the Celtics. Mm, it's cool, but I know Porzingis, he's got, like, injury history. Like, in the last, he's played eight seasons. And in his eight seasons, I know this because I looked it up. In his eight seasons, he's only played over 65 games. Two times, over 65 games, and those two times came when he first was on the Knicks back in 2015, 2016. So all the other years, he's been like 37 games, 43 games, 31 games, 48 games. So he gets injured. I know that the Celtics have Robert Williams too, but I don't feel like Robert Williams or Chris Dabbs Porzingis is a center that puts them over the top or a big man. And they still, neither one of them still can't do shit with Joel Embiid. You know what I'm saying? And, and neither one of them can do shit with Nikola Jokic. He just won a championship last week. And I can name about two, three other people that neither one of them could do shit with. But if Boston fans like it, I love it. Um, and I just want to tell you guys again, thank you for watching this content. Thank you for letting me entertain you. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm here to do. Entertain, talk my shit. You know what I'm saying? There's some people that might, that I know there's people that don't like the shit that I, that I say or some of the shit that I do. I know there are. You know what I'm saying? But to make it fair, I don't motherfucking care. Have a good day.